Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. In this video, we are going to see how we can use for each to print our array. So basically, uh, you have to remember uh, if we go back here to what we had, uh, not this class, this one. We, uh, I think, uh, in the last array class, uh, we spoke about the for each, right? And remember that I said. Imagining that we are talking about just one simple array, we do have to go over each one of these positions. And when we are creating the array, uh, uh, the for each to print this array, that for each, the reference variable that we have inside this one, should match exactly the type of each one of these positions that we have, these blocks that we have here. Basically, this is int, that's why we would have int num. But what should we do now that we have arrays of arrays, like multidimensional arrays? What is the type that we have in each one of these uh, indexes? Basically, this. Let's go back here. So, for. And now, I want to say for each one of these positions that we have here, array we can call base array base so now we have an array a reference variable that's just an array if we print this let's just uh, put like a line here in between control shift f10 we have the reference why because we are now working with these positions but now each one of these positions they have a reference to a new array and we know how to do it if we go back again this is how we should do it this is an array number three number three and if you take a look at the the code here number three actually is this one Can you see that they are they are exactly the same now, basically, for I can give any name, but now base array. And then I just have to print the day. And we get exactly the same result as we were doing with the indexed for. So I think the most complicated part is uh, figuring out the reference variable that you have to put here. But just remember, the reference variable is actually the type that each one of these spaces they are holding. And in our case, it is an array of integers. So this is just a simple class just to complete in the next one. Uh, but in the previous video, uh, it was a lot of information. So I think it's better to have it now. And in the next one, we are going to see how we can have different sizes for the arrays that are being referenced. So, in the next video, bye.